so you, the werewolf thing, this is not one of the questions, okay, okay. but follow up. Like, we're a comp class, we're working with research, so yeah. you're saying this is reported as fact. So can you just talk about how you do research and maybe how you, especially like monsters, there must yeah. be a bunch of bogus stuff out yeah. there. So how do you find what you consider a legitimate source right. or, um, or how you, I mean, I guess you can use a bogus source as long as you sort of refer to it as such. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of, I mean, a big thing I teach in my own composition class is like looking at like sources and trying to decide whether it's a you know a source we should be quoting from or not. And when it comes to monsters, I really I only trust the old stuff. I want like these old <laughs> lost book of werewolves in the 1900s. I feel like those have a lot more credibility, just because maybe they knew something that we don't. You know, mm -hmm. I, I guess I feel like it was sort of a different world back then, and it right. kind of relied more on the oral tradition and not so much fact checking. I mean. The problem with monsters today is that everyone's got a phone like this, and so yeah. um, if you can't capture Bigfoot on film with a zillion of these phone cameras around, it sort of weakens the case for Bigfoot. Yeah. So in the 1800s, when they didn't have this sort of technology, you kind of have to rely on the stories, and I really like that kind of reliance on storytelling. And like the, the myth or whatever of the monster is probably, because you have things like, like there's hunting Bigfoot shows on television, oh, yeah. you know, and like ghost hunting shows yeah. and paranormal and all this stuff, so sort of... <coughs> propagating that that myth. So there's yeah probably a lot of disinformation oh yeah and the fact that I mean especially all those shows I mean they're all like sort of reliant on science like they're all these kind of scientific yeah. portions of the show and they all try to make themselves look like these pseudo scientists and they're measuring footprints and they're casting the feet and they're all, all this like radar detection and high frequency levels and EFM rays and all these tools you know but <laughs> I just want to believe or not believe and kind of forget yeah. the forget the science of it for a while you know you can't you can't Prove the existence of God all that easily with a math equation, so you should be able to prove monsters with a you know an EFM reader or yeah. something. You know. Well, speaking of the EFM reader, because you've um, you've been on like these expeditions, right? Mm -hmm. So like mm -hmm. looking for Bigfoot. Is uh -huh. that right? I've been on a Bigfoot then, expedition. Uh, what was something else? Paranormal, kind of a ghost hunter kind of thing. Okay. Yeah. And then we're at AWP, a writer's conference. Mm -hmm. You said you've been to a, like a Sasquatch. Conference? Yeah, yeah. yeah. So. I went to a Bigfoot, the East Coast Bigfoot Conference. It's in Jeanette, Pennsylvania. It was okay. held above a pizza parlor, but it was a huge pizza parlor. Like 500 people were there. It was really interesting. And what I liked about that, it was it was also very scientific. There was big PowerPoint presentations, and nobody nobody was like super gung ho about believing in Bigfoot. Everyone was very skeptical. Even like the oh, Bigfoot really? hunters were like, "No, there's no no, there's no science here. We haven't had we have any conviction, conviction, convincing proof." But and I really kind of, I thought it really helped their own credibility yeah. as the retours, you know, because... Well, yeah, that's perfect, because we sort of talk about that um, in class and how you have to maintain your own reliability. Mm -hmm. And so, mm -hmm. yeah, I mean, if you're presenting, I mean, you sort of present both sides, at least in the, the Sasquatch yeah, yeah. piece, right? Yeah. And sort of come out with this commentary at the end. Yeah. But, like, I, you know, you are sort of in favor of imagination, yes. but not necessarily a, maybe of the thing. And so I think you maintain your credibility while talking about this sort of sketchy... Topic. So yeah, I mean, yeah. maybe it's something that the students can take away from to this. Totally. Being skeptical even of your own topic, because we have people at a Bigfoot conference who are... <laughs> right, skeptical themselves. Right, skeptical themselves. And it's, it's, it's interesting you say that, because I was thinking about how um, when people read that essay, like, oh, you're the Bigfoot essay guy. Oh, you're the guy who tried <laughs> to prove Bigfoot. But I'm less crazy. When you get to the end, you realize, yeah. oh, it's about imagination. Suddenly, I'm not the Bigfoot guy anymore. Right. I'm like trying to talk about imagination, so I'm not quite as crazy as before, so I yeah. feel like I gained some ground on that front by kind of turning the lens of the essay a little bit. Mm -hmm. Try to. Well, and we're, um, 